you know, coming to the Westwood Village Memorial Park and Mortuary, where some more celebrities are buried. And it is quite hidden, literally. Is the final resting place of little Heather O'Rourke from Poltergeist. Yeah, bless her luck. So, I love daughter and sister Carol Ann, Poltergeist 1, 2, and 3. Yeah, that's where she is. She's right here as you come in. But not for me. So me and Sheila are big Harry Anderson fans, and his character Night Court, and probably Harry himself, is a big Mel Torme fan. And so many gifts, so lovingly shared. Oh, good fun, Sheila. This is such a gorgeous little cemetery. We're going to try to be quiet because it looks like there might be a service going on. Um, so, but, just walking in, Sheila got Mr. Don Knotts. From Andy Griffith. That is amazing. He's right here as you as you come in. There is parking along the street just outside on the corner for two hours, the dollar for two hours. So that's what we've done. Here also is uh, Truman Capote. He wrote a book called In Cold Blood, which was later turned into a movie, which was about a horrible um, robbery, murder out in the West. Um, I'll put some more information down below just because it's like coming <laughs> coming to us bit by bit. Um, he was also friends with the lady he wrote To Kill a Mockingbird, which is a favorite book of ours. And I, her name escapes me. I love that book. But yeah, Truman, we're finding lots of people today. A nice little c cemetery safari. But again, we are trying to be quiet because there is, there does look like some sort of service going on. Oh, St. Hitler work. She passed away during filming of Poltergeist 3. Um, due to, it wasn't cancer. She had like a bowel, a bowel obstruction, I believe. That was just caught too late. Um, and they could, just couldn't do anything about it, unfortunately. And, um, yeah. I just found some amazing legends. Jack Lemmon, ever the comedian. Jack Lemmon in his final resting place. Carol O'Connor. <laughs> Billy Wilder. I'm a writer, but then nobody's perfect. Oh, look at the puppies. Rodney. Yep, there goes the neighborhood. Oh, I love Rodney. No respect. He helped so many people get started, though, in comedy. It's, it's, so, it's so surreal being here at places like this because it's like, you know, these are people we grew up with. Well, not with, but like watching and admiring and, you know. And then we're, here we are, you know, within six to eight feet of, of them, in a way. We should uh, be able to bring pebbles or flowers or something. There's so many people in here in this little memorial park. It's Farrah Fawcett. Marv Griffin. Oh, it says, I will not be right back after this message. <laughs> I love it when people 
have a sense of humor about passing on because you know it's inevitable it's gonna happen to all of us and it's heartbreaking but you know that's great though this is such a gorgeous place and I'm not going to get on camera much myself it's because it's such a pretty place I just want to show you I'm guessing these might be cremation internments because they're so little. And you've got the memorial plaques. And again, not you know, not everyone here is famous. Some of us beloved friends and family members. Not that famous people aren't beloved friends and family members, but just normal people like me and you. And yeah, this is just this gorgeous little cemetery, and it's just right smack in the middle of L.A. on Glendon Avenue. It's surrounded by you know, skyscrapers, and it really is just, you know, you have to know where to look for it. Even parking up and walking up to it, it's like this little bitty sign with an arrow this way. So, so they do have private areas as well. Um, It really is amazing though just how many people are buried here. Um, I just found a headstone that says Kirk and Ann Douglas. I know Kirk Douglas has died, but I don't know if it's THE Kirk Douglas or someone with the same name. But yeah. Um, Merv Griffin, Walter, Walter Matthau. Just so many people. Just so gorgeous. I can never afford to be here though. This is beautiful. Just beautiful. Here in the Sanctuary of Love little area. And Dean Martin. This is amazing. Dean Martin. Wow. I love, I love, before my time, but I love the Rat Pack. A lot of names I, I recognize. I know that name, but I can't place them because my memory is just not very good. Sheila's on the hunt for Ray Bradbury. And we're not the only ones here, thankfully. That's Marilyn Monroe over there. Go to check out. I don't think she's found Ray, though. That's who she really wanted to see today and pay respects to. Right, and you cannot miss these two. Miss Marilyn, where people wouldn't advise it these, at the moment these days and time, they've kissed her marker, I guess you'd call it. And she's right next to Hugh Hefner. I've heard, rumor has it, he paid extra or something like that. He did something to where he would guarantee he'd be next to Marilyn. I, it's one of those Hollywood rumors. But, um... Yeah. So I'd imagine, I know because I've seen videos of other people, this has been covered. So they, they do wipe it down and clean it. But still, um, COVID. Um, but look, you've got people. They've put in money just as a, you know, respects. So I'm put some dollars in there and pennies. I don't have to have any pennies. I think I do in my wallet somewhere. Miss Marilyn, so let's put our picture there. And I just met this lovely family from San Francisco, Mike and Mar okay, well, I forgot her name as well. I want to say Maria, I don't think that's right, I'm sorry. That's a lovely family from San Francisco, they're down visiting and got chatting to them. So, hi guys, thanks for chatting with me. Um, <laughs> and Sheila's making her way over, she found Ray Bradbury, so I'm going to go over there 
and see him because we grew up with his stories, Ray Bradbury Theater and everything. My favorite was the Banshee. Also, that is the only one I really remember as well. So, yeah. That was a legendary Ray Bradbury. Me and Sheila grew up with. And she's all upset. Bless her. <laughs> It's weird that it's so surreal because, you know, so these are people we, you know, grew up watching and listening to and reading and they've definitely made an impact on our life. And so you're here and you're within feet of them and it's just like, it's really overwhelming. Author Fahrenheit 451. 451. And obviously Lola is more. Ray Bradbury Theater. This is just so lovely. And after driving down the 101 and the 405, you need somewhere nice and peaceful like this to chill. <laughs> hey guys, so that will wrap it up for our cemetery safari here at Westwood Memorial. Um, and Hollywood Forever, probably done these in two or three videos, maybe we'll see. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. If you like this video, please subscribe. It helps support me on my YouTube journey, my little YouTube journey. Um, yeah, and I hope I hope we managed to find some graves of people that you admired and grew up with and were able to kind of pay your respects through us through this. And we will see you shortly.